Hey, yo, what up, my viewers, my peeps, my listeners? Yo, 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 what up, people? Aight, I'm about to get you some wiggity wiggity whack. It's a monologue called I Am You, and there's some singing beforehand and afterhand. Uh, I'm not the greatest singer in the world, so excuse me for that, but it just kind of goes with it, so you gotta do what you gotta do, right? <laughs> Life fucking happens. Alright, <clears throat> ready? I am you, you are me, being the best people we can be, bringing joy to the world. Cause you taught me dad to treat a girl I am you, you are me You told me dad had a view You've got all those protons, see them through Oh I will, will for you I always hated my father We never saw eye to eye and we never got along I don't think this damaged me in any way, though. I had a big family. My mother and I got along great. My sister acted just like my dad, but in a nicer fashion, and my older brother gave me all the talks I really needed. I was happy hating him. I was satisfied. Now, you might think that this is going to turn into one of those stories where the son hates his dad and the dad doesn't change, but eventually the son moves out and starts his own life, slowly realizing all the bullshit thrown at him before was for some long, convoluted reason that was purely beneficial. I would like that story. It would be nice to walk home and yell out, Hey, Dad, I think you're great. Thanks for pushing me hard and criticizing my every move. This isn't the case, though. Sure, I recognize that he was treating me the way he was because, well, that's either what he thought was best for me or that's just who he is. The past is in the past, and I'm not really too worried about it. Like I said, I was perfectly happy hating him. Now, I don't want you to get the wrong idea or anything. He's not a bad person. He's not a terrible father, either. We just bickered a little louder and longer than most. One thing that's big to notice is how right he treats my mother. When he goes on business trips, you can tell how much she misses him. It kind of gives me hope for true love. He's also social as hell. If you walk down the street downtown with him, you would think knowing him was a requirement to living here. I think it's because of his positive nature. He always talked about the protons in your body giving you energy for good. He's also really smart. Most of my grades would be low 70s if he didn't teach me how to use my brain the right way. I still push him, though. He was so critical of me in all my ways. I hated that feeling. Like my father was against me in this world. Like it was his goal to transfer his misery onto mine. I'll admit that I don't hate my father anymore. And that's absolutely true. But what I do hate is the idea of turning into him. I don't want to put that on my son or my daughter or anyone. He carried so much weight on his, soldiers, on his shoulders and gave it to me. As a child, my back hurt trying to stand up to him. I want to treat my child in a way that will help him learn to carry his own weight, not mine. I notice similarities between me and him more often now. For example, when I walk anywhere, I run into so many people that I know, and when someone asks me for help, I criticize them first, then give them some sort of praise. I feel as though that's the best way to help them. Sometimes, I believe my fate as a father is inevitable, because the only way to know I know how to love is how he taught me. I am you. You are me, being the best people we can be, bringing joy to the world, cause you taught me dad to treat a girl, I am you, you are me, you told me dad had a view, you've got all those protons, see them through, oh I will will for you I yo I know I stumbled in that one a couple times but it's I be <laughs> see you next time yeah. <laughs>